So we're getting ready to go on a few passes, but I wanted to introduce you to our lovely house guest. This is Eric, Hello. and he's going across the country, started out in Chicago, and he's working his way towards Seattle and then down the coast and just having a good old time. So um, yeah, we invited him to come and camp out in the back, and it turns out he's the loveliest human ever because, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding, you laugh. But I'm not kidding. He likes Doctor Who, and he likes Firefly, and he likes motorcycles. I mean, it's triple threat. And and get this. Show. Let's show them your arm. Okay. Look, look. There's a Dalek on his arm. I'm not kidding. Pretty much the greatest guy you'll ever meet. So, yeah, we're about to head off, and he's about to head off, and I think you're gonna go do Pike's Peak at some point. Probably and tomorrow. And probably tomorrow. So. Um, let us know how that goes, because I'm anxious to mm -hmm. find out, because it would scare the pants off me. So, good <laughs> sure. luck, and um, yeah, we're so happy to have you. Thanks. Happy to be here. Right the so, this just wanted to show you Eric's setup. This is where he <laughs> slept at the Lucas Savage B&B, &B, where we make you make your own breakfast, but we'll make you coffee. Um, here is his motorcycle that he's going across country on. It's pretty sweet. Looks like it matches him pretty well, too. A little rough. <laughs> and look, look, look. There's a Finland sticker. I've always wanted to go there, and he's been there, so that's kind of mean that he's been And we are getting ready to go. Putting on some warmer stuff. As you can see, it's not exactly the most sunny. But uh, we have extra clothes on this time, but, and it should be a good ride. Hopefully we don't freeze. We made it to Wilkerson Pass, and it was a really, really cold ride. My hands don't get um, too cold. Very, I can't even talk. My mouth is a bit frozen, but my hands don't get cold um, too often. But right now, they're freezing, and they hurt, and borderline miserable to ride when it's so cold. I think Justin said it was 40. It got down to 36. He said it, it got down to 36. Now he says it's 42, but it's it's cold. Well, this good. is when this is when the heated gear, I guess, would come in handy. I'd really like to have some heated gloves. Well, he no heated everything, especially here. Like this is so so cold. I was not expecting it to be that cold, but um, but we made it. It's right here. There you go. Lovely view. Well, is it a lovely view? Yeah, it's a lovely view. You can't really see it very well in the video. But yeah, one down. I think we're doing at least one more today. Um, hopefully it'll warm up, sun will come out, that'll be uh, quite lovely. So we made it up to La Salle Pass, which wasn't um, too much further from Wilk Wilkerson Pass, but the road was a lot more difficult. I went sideways in the sand a little bit, but I saved it, which, you know, big win. And I also got to see what happens when you pass a bunch of cows. There's this little baby that was separated from the herd. And he was on the right, and as soon as Justin went by, because he was in the front, um, the baby started, like, kicking and running and bucking. We're like, please, don't go in the middle of the road. Um, and then on the other side, the other cows started moving a bit, too. Um, but we're here, and we made it. And it's pretty cool. It's, there's no sign here. But uh, going back down this road, the road we just came up is this one, this way. So... There's a lot of, you know, going uphill and whatnot, and so it's going to test my skills going downhill because me and downhill sometimes just don't get along very well. Um, but yeah, we're going to take our picture now and uh, head on. We are at Windy Saddle Pass, and it does not live up to its name. It's not windy at all. Windy Saddle, not Pass. Oh, Windy Saddle? Just Windy Saddle. Whatever. Anyway, we're here, and it's not windy. It's lovely though, the drive or the ride out here was kind of lovely. Although we did have these two like military airplanes, C-130, what is that what they are? C-130s? Yeah. We had these C-130s and it sounded like they were trucks coming right behind us. And I'm like, what the heck? And Justin's like, what is that? And we thought it was a truck or something that was right on us. But it ended up being these huge two airplanes and they were flying low. Like, But it was pretty cool though to see and hopefully we got a picture of them. I was, they were flying just over here a minute ago, but I couldn't get them on the camera. It would have been actually really cool to see because, I mean, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. But, yeah, third pass of the day, and now we'll uh, be headed home.